is up, ladies? Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Whatcha Eatin'. Today, I'll be making another Japanese candy making kit, and it's this. Mix a pizza. So it's another pop and cooking kit, and it's making pizza. This kit looks very, very involved, and reminds me a lot of the hamburger kit. If you haven't seen that amazing kit, which is my favorite pop and cooking kit, I'll put the link down below, and you can check that out there. So, yes, this looks incredible. So it's a very, very involved kit that involves making a couple pizzas, a soda, and some of these potato snacks. I bought this on eBay, so you can find it there as well. So let's go in the kitchen and I'll show you what I did. This. So here's the package. Very cute. So we will use this package. So when you cut it, make sure you don't rip it. This is what's inside. So there's your pizza box, your potato wrappers, and your cutting board, your mixing board and instructions. Oh, and you also have your drink wrapper. And I'm going to go ahead and cut everything out. It comes with a cup, a spoon, and a mixing tray, and all these different packets. Next, we're going to separate all these pieces. Potato no moto powder. Then we're going to add two measuring scoops of water. And the consistency is very much like mashed potato. So take your dough and with your impeccably clean hands, we're going to press it evenly into this mold. We're going to microwave this for 500 watt oven, 40 seconds, 600 watt oven, 30 seconds. You just pop it out, a little spatula to cut them up. Then you can arrange them on your little potato wrapper. Pizza kiji no moto. So that's the pizza dough. Add that to the mixing tray. And then to that, we're gonna add four scoops of water. So once your pizza dough comes together, you have to knead it a little bit. Okay, now that your ball of dough is nice and smooth, we're gonna divide the dough in half so we can make two pizzas. And then use the pizza tray that you cut out. We're gonna use this as a guide and press the dough out into a circle. Okay, so once that's spread out, we can put it on a plate. Okay, so now that we have our two pizza crusts ready, now we're gonna make the cheese. This is cheese no moto. Add that to here, and to that we're gonna add one scoop of water. And it does smell kind of like Kraft Parmesan cheese. So yes, if you make this, make sure you mix it really well so you can get a nice ball of cheese. Place it on your cutting board. Okay, now we're gonna make the tomato sauce and add it to the tray. And then add two scoops of water. Ooh, it smells very tomato-y. Wina no moto, and wina means sausage. So make sure you cut on that line, add that powder, two scoops of water. One, two. Oh, it has a strange color. Looks a little bit like cat food. It smells like a little bit like instant beef ramen noodles. We're gonna put this meat paste back into this original package. And push it to the bottom corner. Then fold on the dotted lines. Okay, so now we're ready to assemble. Just take some sauce, spread it on our pizza. Okay, next we're gonna take our cheese and cut it into little bits. Now that our cheese is nicely chopped up, we'll go ahead and sprinkle it onto our pizza. Okay, now that we have our cheese evenly spread, now we're going to add our little wiener or sausage pieces. To do that, we're just gonna cut the end off of this and make it into a piping bag. Now that we have it topped with our sausage, we're gonna microwave this at 60 seconds if you have a 500 watt oven and 50 seconds if you have a 600 watt oven. And the cheese has melted. Amazing. 
So next we're going to add the topping and I'll put that in a dish. I'm using my son's chopsticks. <laughs> Okay, so those are little decorated pizzas. They are adorable. I just tasted these things and they are scrumptious. They taste like little savory MSG rice snacks. Delicious. And next we're going to put together our pizza box. Okay, now that we have our little tray built. Da da. So to your drink cup, you add water to about one centimeter to the top, from the top. Then you add the powder. And immediately it starts to fizz. Amazing! Give that a good stir. And here is the finished pizza. Here's a little potato slice with a little happy face. Let's give that a taste. Talking balls. Hmm. It surprisingly tastes a lot like French fries. It has some of that oily quality. It's salty and definitely potatoey. That's a UPS truck. Hi, UPS truck. And let's try a little bit of our pizza. So there's you got a little profile picture of it. The cheese actually melts. I am just flabbergasted by that. The crust seems a little bit wet damp but of course we cook this in the microwave it smells very pizza like very tomatoey let's give that a taste hmm not bad not bad a little bit sweet definitely tomatoey the crust has a little bit of a rubbery texture it's pretty good actually it's similar to the hamburger kit where this is a toy, so you're making kind of pseudo food. It's still very reminiscent of pizza. I think this kit really captured the essence of pizza-ness. It isn't pizza. It's not supposed to be real pizza because this is a toy. Still really fun and actually quite palatable and stinking adorable. In terms of processes, I felt like the sausage extrusion was the most fun, but I think the most clever in terms of product was the cheese. It actually melts in the microwave, which I thought was incredible. Very impressive. And it tastes pretty good too. And now let's try the grape soda. It smells like grape cough syrup, which isn't actually my favorite, but let's give that a taste. Hmm. And it tastes a little bit better than grape cough syrup because it's a little bit tart, but it tastes like artificial grape. And it has a little bit of a fizz to it, which is amazing. Really fun. This kit is not for the faint of heart. It's quite arduous and time consuming, but it's totally worth it and super cute. Let me know in the comments below what pizza topping is your favorite. So that's that. I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Today I'll be eating star fruit, also known as carambola, and it looks like this. It's native of South Asia and Southeast Asia, but I think it's grown all over the world, including in the U.S., Florida. Happy potato slice.